Hello everyone, Dr. Arish is here and today I want to discuss about the B-complex. Very important discussion because if you ever felt headache, nausea and some other kind of uh, adverse effect without knowing that it caused, could cause by this uh, B-complex that you take it for your own health, please watch this video. So as you all know, I have Telegram channel and I leave my email in the description if you want to contact and have your question please don't hesitate to do so but just remember you cannot sell anything in my telegram channel b complex vitamin overall has been prescribed for so many people many many years especially if you're on antibiotic it really helps you to recover from based uh, from the side effect at the heavy dosage of the antibiotic but there is one thing that if it's written on the back of your uh, box you should be a little bit concerned and be careful with it so as you can see on my screen at the bottom it mentions cyanocobalamin cyanocobalamin basically is the uh, synthesized version of the b12 in the laboratory so it is not a uh, it's not a natural way that it exists in the nature so it's synthesized inside the lab and it has a structure a little bit close to the cyanide. So if you have, if you have allergy reaction, if you have anybody in your family with the lupus, with the close family, lupus suffering from autoimmune system disorder and strong allergy, including yourself, you should be very cautious to take this because Apparently, this can really show side effect, and because it's a vitamin, you will never notice that maybe the side effect come from vitamin B complex. It can it it can goes from the mild to very severe, uh, basically side effect in the high dosage. At the low dosage, you can get diarrhea, nausea, uh, headache, dizziness, and so on. Nausea, then it become a little bit more severe. If you constantly take it, you can face the uh, lack of potassium. It, uh, it really blocks the absorption of the potassium. And in the very high dosage, it can even cause pulmonary edema, which uh, it can cause pulmonary edema, which basically accumulation of lots of mucus inside your lung, uh, heart failure and so on. So be very cautious with the amount of vitamin B you're using. I recommend you take a vitamin B that doesn't have vitamin B12 inside. Most of the B complex, 99.9% .9 are made uh, from the same way. They all using cyanocobalamin. So uh, basically you should be very cautious about it. about it. And that is for today. I hope these videos can help you to decide better choices and make better choices for your health purposes. Till next time.